What's up everybody, it's Stooms. Welcome back to COD Zombies. This is Moon, and today we're gonna do an Easter egg guide. That's right, folks. But this is a special twist. This one is gonna be all for you amateurs out there. So if you are watching all these special videos where all these pros are going around completing the Easter egg, and you're just like, dang, I wish I could do that, and then you try to do it, and it just, you, yeah, it's it's not the best. I will admit, I am an amateur, I am not a pro. Um, so this Easter egg is for you. So we're gonna go through this uh, step by step, the amateur guide to moon. If you enjoy this video, I would like to suggest that you subscribe. Thank you very much. Let us continue. So the first thing you want to do when you hop in the moon is, uh, well, you're gonna die. Probably like 20 to 30 times, maybe like 100 times, I don't even know, but like, you're an amateur player. So when you try to do this Easter egg, um, it's just gonna be very difficult. First, what you're supposed to do is get 3,750 points before you even leave no man's land um and to do that yeah it's, it's hard you're running from these little doggos and they're gonna get you um so yeah the the first step for the amateur cod zombies player to complete the moon easter egg is to die just just die you know just practice die 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 you're gonna get to a point where you're tired of dying so at that point step two is to cheese the easter egg. Cheese getting those 3,750 points by using gobble gum. You grab one of those uh, extra credit. You grab the uh, everything is free for a minute. Gobble gum. Just grab one of those suckers and, and run. And uh, then you'll get the points you need right away. Um, and to, the reason why you need those points is because you need enough points to go and turn on the power. You need to open a certain amount of doors. I think it's three or four or something like that. Um, and you just turn on the power. Every Easter egg starts with turning on the power. So there's that. So you've died, you know, several times. You're frustrated, you're tired. So you cheese it with gobble gum. And for some reason it, it works right away because the gobble gum is, is just like a, you know, a cheating device for COD Zombies Chronicles. Um, and yeah, you just go turn on the power. The next step after that is to go back outside, which you will have passed after opening up all the doors and you notice four glowy computers. Well, you're gonna play some twinkle twinkle lights with those computers. There's four colors and um, they will flash a certain way and you click the corresponding color that they show you. I did not press that, you saw that. I was looking at the other computer. I'm actually pissed. You do that six times, and every single time you do it, they'll add another color for you to remember. So for instance, it'll be uh, just one red. Click the red computer once. And then the second time it'll be red, then green. And then you click the red one and then the green one. And then so, for, so on and so forth. And so forth. And this was my favorite part because it was just so stimulating for my little little brain, you know, to click all the colors, like, oh, look at the pretty lights. And uh, as an amateur player, that was just something I adored. So you will really appreciate step four. After you do that, this part is extra complicated. Step five is to hack, hack and hack. You've turned on the power, right? You've done the twinkle twinkle lights. Now you head over back to where the power was. To the right of that is the laboratories. You go through the laboratories. In the lower part of the laboratories, the oxygen should be in the room, but I've played it a couple times where it isn't. So if that happens, you're just screwed. And end of Easter egg, you failed. Good job, guys. But no, if it does work, it's supposed to work. I don't know why the oxygen was gone that one time, but uh, yeah, it should work. And uh, you just go and retrieve this hacking device it could be anywhere in the two laboratory rooms you just got to find that thing and once you do that you pay five hundred dollars at one of these uh red buttons you just hack it you know for like two hours while the uh the slow astronaut is trying to kill you and then you just you just hope you survive and then after you successfully do that um you're gonna go to these four green thingies with a bunch of numbers on them and they're gonna be glowing green and you just hack four of those in the span of 60 seconds now at the with the video that i watched regarding 
hacking these devices. I was not told that I only had 60 seconds, so this is good to know for you amateurs out there. You are going to have to keep doing it. And if you fail, if you don't do it in 60 seconds, you have to buy 500 coins again and hack another red button. It's just a good time. Um, so yeah, once you hack four of those things, there will be four of them glowing. There's eight of them in total, but only four will be glowing. So you gotta find those four, hack them. And then once you do that, you put away the hacking device and you press all four of the original red buttons one after the other really fast. So like within three seconds, you gotta press them all. And then they'll all glowy glowy and then you'll be good with that step. Woohoo, go you. If you've made it this far as an amateur, oh, wow, you're almost stepping up to the big, le big leagues. Blah, blah. I can't speak. Psych. That's wrong. Because the next thing you gotta do is have good luck. So you go to the box, you're gonna get the box several times and you're gonna be looking for two things. One, the wave gun, which is the two-handed little, you know, ray gun for the moon, which is a special weapon. And Gersh devices, which are those flat, weird things that show up in your uh, left grenade slot. So you have to get both those things. Now, for now, you only need the Gersh device, which is great. So you just, uh, yeah, you're going to get the box probably 20 times if you have bad RNG, which I have as an amateur. I don't know about you, but um, yeah, I got this box like several times in the span of five rounds, and I finally got the Gersh device. Once that is done, step seven is to teleport the wall. So what I mean by this is you jump into back to um, no man's land and you go to the right i believe it is when you spawn in and you throw a grenade at this wall over here and then these two panels like seem to fall off the side of the wall after you do that you throw the gersh device at those two thingies and then it teleports them to your teleporter and then you have to do this really quickly because these raging zombies are chasing you from no man's land so you got to get out of there fast but once you teleport back, those panels that you just teleported to your teleporter will be in the spawn room. <laughs> wow, that made so much sense. If you're an amateur like me, that should be perfectly bad English for you to not understand. Once you have those there, then you have to have um, good RNG again. And step eight, you have to get the box 20 million more times. And this is the part in my playthrough where I couldn't do it because I just did not have good luck. And yeah, I tried to get what you need for the box at this point is continually get the wave gun if you didn't already get it, which I did because I'm special. Um, that's as special as I get, I gotta admit. But you need uh, QEDs because these bad boys will be able to teleport everything else that you need to teleport. But if you don't have bad RNG, you're just gonna die at this step. And there you have it, folks, the amateur playthrough. If uh, anyone wants to know the rest of the uh, Easter egg, well, it goes as follows. After you get the QEDs, you teleport the two panels to this little machine and then you talk to Maxis. And then later on, sometime, the spinny spinny thing in the sky will go down into hallway six. And then once that's done, you hack the spinny spinny thing so it leaves. And then you go in and get this ball and hit it against the wall until it goes into the power room. Once you're there, you kill 125 zombies, steal Samantha's soul, and then throw a QED at the ball that you just placed there. And you get it to go outside where the twinkle twinkle lights are. And then um, from that point, you need to get the box a million times again and get Gersh devices back. Once you get the Gersh device, you go over and you uh, you play Twinkle Twinkle Lights three times. Oh my gosh, that's a dream come true, but that will never come true because you're an amateur and you're never gonna make it to this point. Anyway, then once you do the Twinkle Lights three times, then you throw a Gersh device at the little ball and kaboom, the world will explode and you will have completed the Easter egg. <laughs> I hope this was so educational for you and that you understand completely how to do the moon Easter egg as an amateur. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, and before I go, I just want to talk about my opinion of this map. Um, so pretty much through these playthroughs, I've discovered that I don't like Shino Numa that much. It's very simple but it's too hard to survive because of the map layout 
it's not interesting enough to survive in to last long. So it's like the worst of both worlds, you know? Like at least Kino and Notch are so simple in the right way. It is really easy, but you can enjoy it if you just are looking for a easy survival experience. But Shinonuma is just not it. It's like the worst of both, both worlds. This is what I think of Moon. I think Moon is worse than Shinonuma. And uh, just a number of things, you know? I think they just made it too complicated. The fact that you can die so easily from not breathing, the stupid astronaut guy that teleports you, and then the whole idea about like being on the moon and everything floating around, that's just kind of, kind of makes it tedious. I mean, we're no, I know we're in outer space and all, but it's just like, the main thing is, the moon could have been so much better, and it wasn't, so it was a huge letdown. And uh, the only reason I enjoyed playing this is because I was trying to challenge myself with the Easter egg. If I wasn't trying to do that, I'd be bored of this map and annoyed with it already. So yeah, those are just my thoughts on the map. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe if you did. And uh, yeah, I hope you're having a wonderful day. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.